welcome, welcome, welcome to the island like no other. That's right, today we are here at Thought Park Resort. I've not been here since, ooh, when was it? October last year for Friday nights? Back as I've ever been before. Dan's here as well. He's been before, Henry's been before. So I think today a lot of it's going to be seeing what Beck is going to think of everything. Very excited to see your thoughts. Most importantly though, we are excited to try Ghost Train, the new reimagined Darren Brown's Ghost Train. But no more Darren Brown. Heard mixed things, but we'll get to that. And there's lots of park have done themselves. So I'm very excited. Wait for the rope dots now. So yeah. Let's see what we get up to today. So we've had the rope drop, we were waiting for a rope drop and it finally dropped and it went to the saw queue and we were there for about 10 minutes and they sent one train around, still testing it, then ended the announcement saying, oh, we're not gonna open yet. We thought we were right, sod it. Came to Black Mirror Labyrinth, did that. Remembered why it's not that good and why it was a walk on, unfortunately. Is it worse than the new season? I don't know, that's up for debate. I'm not finished the new season yet. <laughs> Edgelord, fine. Mike, Rose Soft, fine. <laughs> twink, nah, no chance. Was I being offensive by calling you Twink? No. You can uh, say if I was, but no. I thought like, Edgelord's all right, but Twink isn't. And then we got into a big debate about Horrid Henry, and then you referenced the new Black Mirror episode that I don't think she clocked on to No, she didn't, did she at all? Was she in character or she just thinking character maybe I can't tell um thoughts it, it's all right to, to help with capacity on a busy day but I wouldn't rush to it no I got it was zero minutes what were your thoughts Becca having a uh, did it for the first time if I'm being really frank and brutal it was a waste of 10 minutes now we're gonna go on the walk and take the ride because Becca wants to do that <laughs> That's the Walking Dead, the ride complete. I've always found it weird that it's a family coaster with a 18 plus IP. And I always give it a bit of slack because I'm like, oh, you think with that IP it'd be a bit more horror based and a bit more thrilling and it isn't. And I just don't understand it. I feel like I'm the only person in the world who doesn't understand. Let me know if you agree with me though, because it doesn't make sense, does it? Um, what I do like though is that final break section. And I was like thinking when we're on it, right, I'm going to give it some credit. I like the whole, I'm going to get you started again. And you, you know, do the whole should forward and come back. Then you get going. But then it goes nowhere, you just end after that. So, annoying. Anyway, um, queues are building up now. Water rides are very uh, heavily queued. And Henry wants to get a, a Pokemon. From here, maybe he wins, I don't know, let's find out. had a little game on detonator which i think is probably the uk's best drop slash i love tower. that it yeah it doesn't shoot but it drops and it does it pretty well um and it's quiet so the operator had a little game with us didn't, didn't they uh but bit of a game as simon says so it's simon says wiggle your legs simon says cross your arms cross your then, legs put your legs out yeah and um, then Simon says, put your arms up, which I was I was expecting it was going to be put your arms up as the one where the drop was going to happen to fool us all. But they Simon said it every time and yeah. I fell for it. <laughs> arms are up. I thought it was going to be, if you get it wrong, then we're going to drop. Exactly. But you were right. First of all, it quite was intense fun. for the height of it. And the operator made that completely. Very fun. That was really good. Really impressed with that. Never done it before. So hurrah. Right. What now, gentlemen and Becca? What, what are you fancying? Back to Saw or Stealth, we're quite close to Stealth. We're going to check the cues. Uh, I'm going to start this sentence here and end my sentence here. It's time for Stealth. Becca's honest reaction to Stealth, first time ever. Um, so my soul left my body and I don't think it's come back yet. Hooray! Also, the best free blow dry I've ever had. <laughs> God, that was crazy though, wasn't it? Yeah, but we had fun, it was good. The guys before us got a blind launch, which we uh, didn't get. Yes. But equally, I felt like I was going to die the whole time, so maybe not. I don't know. I don't know if I like that feeling I'm gonna die. But you've done it now. Maybe if you do, if we do it again later on, you'll be less. Yeah, I think we'll have to. I can't promise anything, but guess I'll die. Guess you'll die. Guess I'll die. Stealth. What's your opinion? Loved it. Wish nice. we got the blind launch. Love being on the back row because you don't think you're gonna make it over the top. Um. Yeah. Happy days. Enjoyed it. Yeah. I would pay for a rollback. Same. Is what I'm saying Same. today. I would pay you to have a roll back. But yeah, happy days. Love that. Rapid 
done. Is it better than the Tower's one? No, because I prefer the audio layout. It's quite simple, really. Not much to it. More of a lazy river, wasn't it, than a, hey, let's get wet on the rapids, but. Right, Ghost Train done. Thoughts, Henry? Not a fan. Not I a think fan. I really enjoyed Darren Brown's Ghost Train. I thought it was in innovative for the time. It was slow, it was clunky. Not all the headsets worked, but it was different. Feels like they've repurposed pretty much everything in a slightly new story. The story does work, but it's a massive space that I think they could have done something brand new if they really wanted to, rather yeah. than rejig something that the license had run out on, probably, and was a bit unreliable. We waited a good long hour, and we yeah, were like at least. very close to the start of the queue, so. We were, that's in, yeah, the hour queue we had was including the time before the queue at the ride actually opened, and we were queuing for the queue, essentially. Yeah, blocking the new donut time stand, <coughs> which was annoying for people that wanted donuts, but yeah. they look good, so I shall we try one later? Yeah, 100%. For me, my take on it is the theming, the detail in there is really good. It is really immersive. But ultimately, it's down to the actors. And as you say, they're kind of, well, I think it's better than Ghost Train because the VR was incredibly unreliable and that's what ruined it, right? So yeah, for me, it's more yeah. a case of actually, I think they've done a better job of what they had. But yeah. as you say, the better option would have been just get rid of it, something new in that space. But I mean, yeah. the money's gone to Exodus, right? So they're not going to do that. Yeah, it's not bad. If you've if you've not done Darren Brown, Darren Brown's Ghost Train, definitely do it. If yes. you've done Darren Brown's Ghost Train, do it if the queues aren't massive. If they are, skip it and do something. Yeah, thirty else. minutes or less, I'd say. Yeah. Not an hour like we have. It's currently on sixty minutes, so. Yeah. And the surprise towards the end, again, it feels the fake like fake out got me. It did get me. They've kept, they've <laughs> Even kept, though I knew that was there before. They've kept it and loosely linked it to this new story, and it's yeah. a bit like. Uh, I'll give it like a B. Could have done better, but pretty good. Yes. Like you say, the details in this oh, new story. Oh, the yeah, the, the, the theme in the scenery was great. However, the, the Pepper's Effect room at the beginning was good. Yep, yeah. The bit after that, though, where the video was just playing for ages and ages and yeah. ages, and then it suddenly, the doors opened and moved on. It didn't feel like it really linked to then that part where you go through. Yeah, it was just the I'm holding sure. room, wasn't it? Well, that's what I was trying to work out if it was just wasn't that relevant. Loop. Or yeah. if there was going to get to a point where going through to the sort of station was going to make more sense, but it didn't. It, ju it was just that holding pen. Yeah, that went on for too long, I felt. I think they can still make improvements to the whole thing. Yeah. But scenery-wise and immersion, I thought it was brilliant. Yeah. But ultimately, yeah. yeah, I agree. It's better For me, it's better than what it was, but not as good as it could be. Yeah. I think cool, deal. Sorry, walkie-talkie time. Uh, one thing I do want to mention in regards to Ghost Train is that the park had a lot of feedback because they said it was an attraction and people said it's not really an attraction, it's more of an experience. So fair play to Thought Park for now setting the correct expectations. I think I enjoyed it a lot more because I had the correct expectations set. I didn't know what to expect, I didn't know what the story was, but at least I knew it was an experience, more of a walkthrough, more of a Dungeons-esque thing. So that has definitely helped, I think, from my perspective. So thank you, and well done Thought Park for doing that. So it's been about three hours since we last did one of these. Uh, trying to remember what happened. So we went to, what's it called? Taco thing. There's yeah. a taco thing. We went there. They were dealing with one complaint, like all the stuff took ages. So we went down to the express one. They were still cooking food. So we had to wait 30 minutes. But nah, went back to Burger King, had to wait there, got that. They went to Stealth, but then it closed down again. So then Whilst we had to we wait there. In the car. We literally were in the car, brought it down, got back out. And then we came to Swarm. And it's been three hours doing all that. It's taken ages. Three hours to do two rides. It's just been very slow operations are good when things are working but unfortunately things haven't been working and yeah. tacos was frustrating because it's new i wanted to try it and i couldn't try that so that's kind of an update but the swarm is really bloody good front row me front, and row front row for you nice. second row for me loved it i can't complain about this it's amazing absolutely love it new being in wind coaster tomorrow at Mandrill mayhem and now we've got colossus and saw to do so we can still squeeze everything in which is good and it's been a little bit busy but not too busy but just we were just walking around in like yeah. the hottest part of the day for ages trying to sort out food and it just yeah, food really let us down today, unfortunately. Ah, well, that's the update. One minute done. Let's go on another ride. So what's this one? Stranger Rings. What is it? Um, it's got oh. Oreo crumbs with uh, a Nutella sauce. And I got uh, this Bruno Mars thing, which is bueno on top of a, I think there's like hazelnut cream inside of it. Ten guesses what this is called? Donut. Donut. And this is all from Donut Time, one of the new establishments so that's now within the park. Bang in. <laughs> So 
that is Colossus done. Uh, 10 inversion coaster, which is fantastic. And if you saw the Flamingo Land vlog in which I reacted like this. Oh, 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 oh my God. <laughs> And in that video, I did say that this was not as good as Sick. To be fair, Sick is just plain. It's not really theming. Colossus has a theme, which is great, but yeah, those lap bars make all the difference. So I still think Sick wins, although that wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. However, a bit of a colossal incident in the queue line, wasn't there? Long story short, girls behind us tried pushing in. Um, we're quite keen to be like, no, queue jumping is not a thing. And they were saying they're just in front of us, and it wasn't, it was like literally like three trains worth of people in front of us. Henry put in an issue through the app. It was through the shout, app, right? Yeah, shout out to Thought Park being proactive. Yeah, very proactive, very quick. They came down within like three minutes, I think. Um, spoke to us, spoke to them, took them out of the queue to speak to them again, and they were pleading the case like, oh, we had to leave the queue and then come back because of an emergency. And the guys were like, yeah, well, that's still queue jumping. Like, for whatever reason it is, like, you can't go ahead of people that are already in front of you. Simple as that. Um, if it was a few people, we wouldn't have minded, but yeah, it wasn't more than a few people. It was at least like, 40 people as I said like three trains were so very frustrating because it just put a bit of a damp experience on our queue time and it's a decent queue not the foliage as you can see here but anyway well done thought path for sorting it out sucks you guys trying to queue jump Colossus was all right in the middle so a imagine bit of a, if there were the, the sick restraints on the Colossus that would be a top yeah that would that would make this way 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 better yeah will they change it I don't know but anyway one more coaster to go because Nemesis Inferno is still closed and our next coast is... Saw the ride. Nice, that was cool that. Yeah. Seven hours later we've finally done Saw. Saw was Becca's most, what's the word, anticipated ride yeah. of Thorpe Park. And what did you think? Absolutely loved it. Hooray! Like, I know, I, I could tell that it was like built by the same people that did the Smiler. Um, I love the films, so just the immersion was cool. I liked, you know, like, spoiler, the stuff that happens at the beginning, that's fun. The second train definitely has a better ride than the first one. Yeah, for the pause with Jigsaw at the beginning, right? And the yes. little story bit. And as much as I hate vertical drops, that's probably my favourite vertical drop. Yay! Poster. Well done, I, I love it. I've obviously ridden Oblivion to death, but... I think in terms of the most most manageable vertical drop because I'm not a fan uh, that was fine yeah it's it's good isn't it as much as I think the coaster isn't amazing the theming is immersive it's very on point and the brand works well for the ride and yeah. I bought a t-shirt because of it and you did we got the same one I literally ordered exactly the same thing and you're gonna wear that t-shirt tomorrow at Chesterton World of Adventures and scare all the kids yeah why not why the hell not but good I'm so glad you like that because I love horror you love horror we love the franchise Thank you, Thought Park, and I can't wait for it to... Uh, no, I'm just kidding. It's going to suck when it no longer ex exists as an IP. Dan's stroking my leg. Thanks, mate. Right, next ride, then. <laughs> Had a lovely ride on Vortex, and I've just double parked with a... Oh, hang on. <laughs> I've necked it because it's so hot with one of these orange bad boys, and then... Yeah, loads of these Coca-Cola Frozen stuff around the park. I had the Fanta Lemon earlier um, with my Burger King when I accidentally ordered uh, the same burger twice. Rip me. Um, and yeah, Coke's fantastic. But now we're going to do Swarm again and uh, maybe Rush as well. So final hour here Check out before Megatron. the sun hits. Megatron. Megashop. Megashop. Megastore. Oh yeah, Megashop. And that's our day done. Uh, two rides on the Swarm at the end of the day, which we love. And what a great area. I love the whole theme of the island. I think it's absolutely superb. Um, but, 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 it's but, just missing the Yumi at six song. Yeah, didn't hear it. The Swarm. Is it called The Swarm? Yeah. It's called The Swarm, we didn't play that. Um, as you can see, the sun's setting, hence why my head's in and out of the sun. But um, I think today has been successful. I think the park operations from the staff have been good. But the caveat is that's been when the rides are working, food has been really not good, unfortunately. Um, that really screwed us over. Literally, those two hours we spent like between one ride to the next, trying to get food and then obviously stealth went down oh also when we went on saw i don't know if we said but that also went down literally we got on it came off it because it went down exact, exact same, situation. same yeah, thing that happened on stealth twice. yeah <laughs> so poor look i think we've just been unfortunate with that i think it's been a fairly successful day 
So let's leave it there. Tomorrow we're at Chessington, which is fantastic because another wing coast. They've there. never been. Manjul Mayhem, which obviously is going to be great, the Jumanji area. They've never been to Chessington at all, so that'll be fun. See what they think of everything. I love it over there. Um, I think I'm going to be burnt tomorrow, so I'll give you an update on that. Um, yeah, that's it. Any final thoughts? I mean, cracking weather for it. Cracking very, weather. Very Becca, yeah. anything? Really enjoy my first time. First time? Yeah. One word review? Cool. Right, that's it then. See you tomorrow.